So this is our pond guys. You can see the white sand in the bottom. And you can see there's very little algae on the rocks. Just enough that the fish can feed on it but nothing more. Now that white sand, we don't vacuum. We don't do anything and I mean nothing. So exactly how it is right now, we don't scrub rocks. You know, the fish, the fish actually get in and you can see little mouth bites in the sand. Basically they filter through it but it stays that clean. Um, and it never used to until we put the ozone on. It used to get a green tinge and get algae growing on it and whatever. Now, you know, this is the, the side here. You'll realise that we've got 40 fish in our pond. And still, you can see with my hand in the water. That's my, my hand underwater. <laughs> so you can see that's it's clear. Now, we don't vacuum. We don't do any maintenance at all. All I do is once a week I swap the Dacron out in that top tube that you saw in the other video and that's all we do. No other maintenance. We don't do, you know, be lucky to go, maybe we do a three month water change um, and what we actually have to do is top up the bicarbonate of soda and the magnesium sulfate because the so long between water changes our hardness starts to drop as the bacteria consume that material out of the water. So, so yeah, you can see there Clearly the fish are healthy. Um, some people have concerns, does it hurt fish, does it hurt plants? Well, you can see we've got plants growing right in the water, it doesn't seem to hurt them. So, but what it does do is it limits how the algae grows. You can still see there is still just enough algae on rocks to kind of look nice, but it doesn't get out of control. Now, before I put the ozone on, our pond was out of control. We had string algae growing, We it was overtaking, um, like our waterfall over there was, was overtaking it. The big one over the other side there, that had just algae growing all over it. It was to the point where it was blocking things up. And, and at first we thought, oh, there's some nice algae. But then after a while we realized this is just terrible. We don't want this. So that's why we're looking for a solution. So see, these little guys haven't been fed yet. So, But anyway, um, you can see it's clear. Now, this may not be everyone's cup of tea, but for you know, for where we sit and look onto this from the kitchen and from our outdoor area, I think it's, it's pretty sweet. So anyway, thanks for watching.